So a while back I got a new knife. It's uh, an Adventure Sworn Mountaineer. I had this on order with Cody for a long time and I've had it for quite a while now. I just haven't had really the, the opportunity to come out and use it. So I'm going to build a split wood fire today. Uh, I used my hatchet for some of it as you saw, but I'm going to use this knife mainly. Um, that wood is probably an inch and a half thick there. And I really want to beat this knife up. I got it in 1 8 and it's a scanty grind with a tapered tang and um, really just want to see how the, the tip holds up. I've been doing this for quite some time now today and it's totally fine. Uh, I'm happy with that. The last knife I had was a Celilo Bushcrafter. I broke the tip off it real easy. So, and it was 1 8 Scandi as well. Cody assured me that wouldn't happen with this one and uh, he's definitely right so far. So it's sharp, super sharp, right out the box. Um, I touched it up a little bit, gave it a uh, secondary micro bevel. Um, I find that I can, the way that I sharpen Scandies even is the mouse pad and uh, sandpaper method and it convexes it a little bit at the edge, so it's fine with me, it works real good. I got white G10 handle with blaze orange, um, one eight thick blaze orange liners. I got a four and a half inch blade on the Mountaineer instead of the regular four and a quarter. I just wanted a little bit more uh, length for Batani. I like the knife. Took some getting used to after that Salilo Bushcrafter. It felt really, really big. Like uh, <laughs> the Salilo Bushcrafter, the, knife, the whole knife was probably from there to there almost the size of the blade and this blade is four and a half inches like I said so it took some getting used to but that was me that wasn't anything bad about the knife I just wasn't used to it but uh, it's really grown on me feels good no hot spots all that jazz good in the chest leave a grip you know the real important things <laughs> able to get these real thin pieces. This is uh, elm I'm using. It's dense, dense wood. Just some things I really like about the knife. The pommel area, nice and rounded. Um, that salilo came to a, a point almost at the end and I found myself having to put my thumb on the end when I was pounding it in to split wood because there was no little guard here and my hand would try to slip down onto the knife and putting my thumb onto that pommel part there it killed me because it was almost to a point um, this knife has a little bit of a guard and it has the rounded pommel so it works really well for that stuff fits nice in the hand I find when I'm when I'm doing shavings my hands way up here and uh, I kind of put the my index finger on this little lip works really well for that um, it's a comfortable knife Adventure Sworn really, Cody really has his uh, ergonomics down. It's got the Coke bottle shape there. You can see, uh, real pronounced. Not as much as the classic, his uh, his Woodlore's take, but this is, uh, this is a good, good all around knife. And I'm sure I'm gonna get a comment on YouTube saying, well, you have that hatch out there, why are you be taunting and putting your knife through this stuff? Uh, because I want to, that's why it doesn't matter because there's no certain way to do anything because if I want to use my knife like an axe I'm going to if I break my knife that's my own fault but you know what it's not gonna happen I guarantee that
Let's go, go. Go on. That way. Let's go. Go on, dude. Go on. try something a little bit different today. I'm going to uh, cook my bacon up, then in the grease, I'm going to have a piece of bread with a hole cut in it, and then I'm going to put an egg in the hole. I've never tried it yet. I've heard it called a couple different things, uh, toad in the hole. Maybe that's all I've heard it called, but <laughs> that's what we're going to eat today. Bacon's is done. Just gotta get a hole in the bread. pretty good to me. I put some bacon on top. I think it'll be good. <laughs> 